just a minute to have some issue map disabled okay thank you so in this video we are going to discuss about collector feedback resistance biasing circuits this is the given circuits from this given circuits already we know vcc is given then transistors is problems from vjd transistor circuits and then grounded emitter collector and then this is this one is base resistance collector resistance and then base current from here is called it as collector current from the base current and then this here is VCE then this here is VBE so what they are going to ask means the given this all the data are given already 20 volt RC equal to 1 kilo ohms RB equal to 100 kilo ohms already given and the beta also given beta equal to 100 so they what they are going to ask means to find to find uh, to find operating point to find Q point it is the given questions so if you want operating point means as per our uh, output characteristics of operating point everyone knows there is a two parameters we need to find from the output section VCE and then IC that means we need to find two set of data so from this I am going to solve I C after that V C E okay from I C so from input side from input loop from input circuit I'm going to calculate I C how so I'm going to take each of voltage law equation in input side in input side like like see that this is the input side VCC IC plus IB RB RB zone is RC then here VBE so I am going to write equation now so what is the equation VCC minus IC plus IB into RC minus IB into RB minus BBE equal to 0 so from this substitute this value so already we came to know IC equal to beta IB so these are the important parameters we need to know whenever we are going to solve biasing circuits from this I am going to rewrite the equation IB equal to VCC minus VBE power by beta plus 1 so this is called collector feedback resistance ok collector feedback circuit so beta plus 1 into 1 kilo ohms RC plus RB 100 kilo ohms from this after solving this already we came to know beta equal to 100 so IB equal to finally we are going to get IB equal to 0 0.090 milli amps is equal to 96 micro amps so this is for IB so from the IB we can easily find the value for IC so already we came to know IC equal to beta IB so already we know that beta value 100 into 
96 micro amps. So finally, IC equal to 9.6 milliamps. So from the operating point, from the operating point, so we find the value of IC. IC equal to 9.6 milliamps. So this is the curve. This is the curve already we came to know. Already we know that this is the output curve. From this, we need to solve the operating point. So we need to find the Q point. First point, we, we find it. We got it the first point. Next one is VCC. How possible to take VCC? So VCC from the output side. So I'm going to write VCC equation. VCC minus IC plus IB 1 kilo ohms minus VCE equal to 0. This is for output section. So this section. VCC IC plus RB IC plus IB into RC. So this one is VCE. So this value is 1 kilo ohms. So finally after some substitute this 20 voltage 9.6 milliamps already we came to know plus 96 micro amps IB value into 1 kilo ohms minus VC is VCE already find VC also VC we are going to find equal to VCE so finally VCE equal to 10.30 volt 10.30 volt so now the operating point Q point is 9.6 milliamps into 10.30 volt so from this operating point see that now here the operating point here 10 point 10.30 ohms so now you break this one so this one is called it as q point okay thank you students thank you once again we will see in the next update next suitable video for your learning purpose please kindly support to my channel just forward to your friends and uh, just click a subscribe button. Thank you once again for clicking the subscribe button in advance. Thank you all.